Hello and welcome to this Amcrest video tutorial. Today we will cover how to set up your Amcrest Wi-Fi and PoE IP cameras to record video directly to your QNAP or Synology Network Attached Storage System or NAS. We will show you how to access your cameras using the app known as Surveillance Station to be able to monitor your camera's live feed and to playback video. Please note, in this demonstration, we will be using a QNAP NAS. For a Synology NAS, the process to download the Surveillance Station app, add your cameras, and monitor or playback your video will be very much the same. Before you begin, please make sure your camera is connected to your network. If you haven't already done this, please view our other video how to set up your Wi-Fi or PoE camera on your network. To get started, you will need to log into your NAS using a web browser. In the URL field, type in the IP address for your QNAP or Synology NAS, followed by a colon, and the default port number. For the QNAP, the default port number is 8080, and for Synology, it is 5000. If you need help locating the IP address for your Synology NAS, go to Synology's website and download the Synology Assistant for help. Log in to your NAS with your credentials. To download the Surveillance Station app, click on the main menu button in the top left corner and select App Center or Package Center in Synology. The QNAP Store and My Apps menu loads immediately and displays your installed apps. To download Surveillance Station, select All Apps in the left-hand menu and scroll down till you find Surveillance Station. Click Install to start downloading and installing the app. The same process on a Synology NAS will be very similar when navigating through the main menu. Once the app is loaded, click on Surveillance Station. Log in with your username and password. Please note this may be different than your NAS login credentials. Once you're logged in, under Camera Settings in the left-hand menu, click on Camera Configuration. After the window loads, click Add to add your camera. When clicking the Search button to locate the IP address for your camera, be sure to select the general interface type as OnVIF when searching for your network camera. It will bring up a list of cameras on your network with different IP addresses. Select your camera from the list, then click OK. Your camera information will appear in a new window. Here you can type in the username and password for your camera. Click the Test button to test the connection. If the credentials are correct, a camera icon or check mark will appear. Click Next. In the Video Settings window, you can adjust the resolution, frame rate, and picture quality of your camera. Below, you can also enable audio recording, minimum days files are kept, and auto snapshot. Click Next. A 7-day, 24-hour calendar will appear where you can enable scheduled recordings, and even specify the dates and times when you want recording to be active. Click and drag to select blocks of time, or leave the calendar all blue to record 24-7. Click Next and confirm your settings. Once your camera has been successfully added to your NAS, click Finish, and you're done. You will see your camera has been added to the surveillance station. When clicking Monitor or Playback at the top, a pop-up window will appear, prompting you to click a link to download the QNAP QVR Client plugin to playback your videos. Go ahead and click the link. From the Downloads folder, click the installation file to install the browser plugin and click through to complete the installation. After the installation is complete, you may need to restart your browser for the changes to take effect. 
In the URL field, type in the IP address for your QNAP or Synology NAS. Click on the main menu button in the top left corner and select Surveillance Station. You will see your camera has been added to the Surveillance Station with the camera's IP address, connection status, recording settings, and days recorded, all displayed in separate columns. When clicking Monitor or Playback at the top, please note that the QVR Client plugin will open in a separate window. Navigate down to the taskbar to locate the QVR window. To monitor the live feed, click on Monitor at the top. You will have multiple split views you can select depending on the number of cameras you have. On the far right is an event notification, which can be muted, multi-monitor setting, server list, EMAP, and an options menu. When you click on the video feed, you will see some pop-up on-screen options. Here you can enable or disable manual recording and audio. You can take snapshots, access digital zoom, and check your configured cameras. You can also watch instant playback and export recordings to a client PC by clicking on the export button. To playback videos, click the playback button at the top. Please note that the QVR client plugin will open in a separate window. Navigate down to the taskbar to locate the QVR window. On the playback screen, you will have access to your recorded video feed, a timeline below, plus the ability to zoom, control views, select your type of recording, export, and select file playback. To the bottom right, you can play or pause your video, as well as increase or decrease the video playback speed with a sliding toggle switch, or skip to the previous or next frame. To monitor your cameras in full screen mode, click the full screen icon in the top left to view your channels as a camera surveillance monitoring station. We hope this video has helped you learn how to add your Amcrest IP cameras to your NAS for recording and playback of your videos. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out more instructional videos from Amcrest Technologies.